to Invest Insights. I'm Abby Maloney. I'm joined today by Bradley Jackson, the President and CEO of the Tennessee Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Thank you, Bradley, for being here today. It's great to be here. Thank you. Bradley, when we spoke to you for our annual publication, Invest Nashville, you mentioned how one of the most important factors for developing a strong workforce is a strong connection between higher education and industry. What are some innovative methods in which the Chamber is helping to strengthen this connection? And how is this apparent in initiatives like the Tennessee Promise Program? Well, thanks for that question. Um, I'll say one thing that we hear from employers and about 92% of them says, note that workforce is their most pressing concern. So the Chamber, we've really doubled down on our efforts to enhance Tennessee's workforce. So a number of initiatives, you mentioned the Tennessee Promise Program, uh, the Chamber has been very supportive of that. Uh, in addition, uh, more ways that uh, business and industry can connect um, with K-12 and technical um, education institutions in the state. That's been a major initiative of the Chamber uh, to open up those pathways. Uh, in addition, uh, more CTE, uh, more funding for CTE classes uh, and career um, awareness and education as well so that students can easily identify and know what in-demand careers are out there uh, and really find a pathway toward, toward those in Tennessee. That's been a number of our major initiatives and we're proud to see that we're gaining ground. You know, Tennessee's overall uh, percentage of individuals that have attained either a provincial or a four-year degree um, has been steadily increasing, uh, which bodes well for our future uh, workforce. Tennessee Chamber of Commerce also serves as the Tennessee Manufacturers Association. What are some of the creative ways you're encouraging and supporting growth within Tennessee's manufacturing industry? And why is this important for long-term sustainable growth? So one thing we know is that manufacturing, you know, for every dollar that they pay in wages, uh, it ripples through local communities at about $3, whether it's uh, suppliers, small businesses, you know, trucking. Uh, so Tennessee is a top 10 state in, in, in the United States for manufacturing. We have a long and a strong history uh, regarding manufacturing. Some of the things that we hear is obviously enhancing workforce, uh, but also you know, ramping up and embracing the role that automation and technology is going to take, uh, the role that's gonna take for manufacturers in Tennessee. So uh, the chamber has worked um, to establish and get funding for a smart factory institute uh, in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's one of the first in the United States of America. So we really wanna double down and make sure that uh, Tennessee, you know, not only remains a great manufacturing state, but also for the future uh, that we look ahead and think how to how to ensure a successful manufacturing uh, and remain really the number one state in the nation for automotive manufacturing. Uh, that's really some of our goals here in Tennessee. As we round out our discussion today, what role does creativity play in remaining competitive in today's landscape? So really, creativity is, is almost everything. You know, I, I think it's deeply embedded uh, into the United States of America and certainly Tennessee is that we are innovators. Uh, we think outside the box. We find uh, solutions to problems. So uh, creativity uh, and ensuring that our, our workforce um, has those skills. You have to think critically uh, to analyze problems, to take data uh, and be able to make conclusions is extremely important. So Creativity really is at the core of that when you look at a successful workforce uh, in a successful state. And we know, you know, Tennessee, we are innovators here, whether it's in manufacturing, healthcare, even technology, uh, we have come so far. Uh, we're really proud of the role that we, that we play there. Well, thank you very much, Bradley. Sure, thank you. That was Bradley Jackson, the president and CEO of the Tennessee Chamber of Commerce and Industry. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to hear more CEOs and thought leaders share their opinions and advice on today's business climate. Until next time, I'm Abby Maloney, and this has been Invest Insights. Thanks for tuning in.